my dear students of class 5 8 today's lesson i am going to teach you lesson number i'm writing in the board as per the lesson today i shall teach you what lesson i am going to teach you i am mentioning in the board please look at the board what lesson i am going to teach you i am mentioning in the board please look at it Open at page number 58. First, open at page number 58. Opened? Okay. Now I am writing uh, some points in the board according to which I shall explain it. Okay. Now, open at page number 58 and see lesson number 43. Chapter 43. Chapter 43. Chapter 43, page number 58. Topic. Topic, our heritage. Our heritage. Here I shall write some uh, something in the backboard, blackboard, you have, sorry, in the board, you have to uh, keep it in your mind, the answers as mentioned, uh, as per the question, as per the line. Now, where is the Taj Mahal situated? First question, where is the Taj Mahal situated? Where is the Taj Mahal situated? You have to mention only the place where the Taj Mahal is situated. Where is the place Taj Mahal is situated? We have to write the name of the place, Agra. Taj Mahal is situated at Agra. Taj Mahal is situated at Agra. One more uh, question I can add with it. Who constructed the Taj Mahal? Who built the Taj Mahal? You know the answer. Sazahan, comma, Mughal Emperor constructed the Taj Mahal by the river side of Yamuna. Taj Mahal is built by Taj Mahal, Taj Mahal is built by Sazahan by the river side Yamuna. Okay, by the Yamuna River. In order to commemorate the image of his beloved wife, Mumtaz Mahal, Taj Mahal is constructed by Sazahan. Next question I am going to teach you. Here it is written in the board. I am just uh, going to tell you the answer. Second one, who was the builder of Jama Masjid? It is written in your book. Please compare with this book. Uh, compare with the uh, you know sentence I am telling you to your book. First one, who is the Taj? Uh, where is the Taj Mahal situated? Taj Mahal is situated by the river Yamuna at Agra. Taj Mahal is situated but you have to write the name of place where Taj Mahal is situated. The name of place is Agra. Second question, who was the builder of Jama Masjid? Sazahan was the builder of Jama Masjid. Sazahan built Jama Masjid which is considered to be uh, one of the largest mosques of India which is constructed, which was constructed by Sazahan. It is Jama Masjid. Okay, Jama Masjid is situated in front of the Red Fort or Lal Kela at Delhi. And next one, 
which monument was built by the British in the memory of 90,000 soldiers killed during the First World War? Which monument was built by the British? It was, it is India Gate. It is India Gate. It is India Gate. India Gate, India Gate was built by the British uh, to commemorate the memories of 90,000 soldiers who dedicated their lives during the First World War in order to commemorate the image, in order to uh, pay, in order to pay tribute to the memories of 90,000 killed, 90,000 soldiers who sacrificed their lives in the First World War. That's why the British had constructed the monument at Delhi. The name of the monument is India Gate. It is located in the midst of Delhi. India Gate. It is located in the midst of Delhi. Located in the midst of Delhi. Beside Rashtrapati Bhavan. Sansad Bhavan. And next one. Next. Next. Question number four. Which temple was built in Delhi by B.D. Birla in 1938? Which, be, which, temple, which temple was built by B.D. Birla in 1938 in Delhi? Which temple? The name of the temple is Birla Temple, Birla Mandir. Birla Mandir. It was built by B.D. Birla, the famous industrialist. He built this temple in Delhi, Birla Mandir. In which year? In the year 1938. 1938, B.D. Birla built this temple in Delhi. The name of the temple is Birla Mandir. Okay, then 5, serial 5. Serial 5. What is it? Right. Uh, why? Where is Hawa Mahal situated? Where is Hawa Mahal situated? Where is Hawa Mahal situated? It is situated at Jaipur. It is situated at Jaipur. Where is Hawa Mahal situated? Hawa Mahal situated at Jaipur in Rajasthan. Hawa Mahal. The famous building, the magnificent building which was constructed by the Mansabdars, constructed by the Zamindars. Beside the places of Mansabdar, the Zamindars, the kings of, you know, uh, uh, you know, in collaboration with, in consultation with the Zamindars of Rajasthan, the kings of, the king of Rajasthan, the kings of Rajasthan constructed the Hawa Mahal, the famous, magnificent and largest buildings, one of the most largest buildings of, you know, Rajasthan during that period, constructed by the kings, but it took time to construct the famous, you know, building Hawa Mahal, which, is, which was constructed uh, at, at, you know, Jaipur in Rajasthan. Next one, uh, name the monument which was built by King Narsimha Deva, it is in the shape of a chariot with 24 wheels carried by or drawn by seven horses. One temple which was constructed by King Narsimha Deva. Uh, it was constructed in the shape of a chariot with 24 wheels and drawn by seven horses. What is the name of this temple? The name of the temple is San Temple. San San Temple No, what is the name of this temple? San San Temple It is constructed by King Narsimha Barma King 
Narsimha Deva, not Narsimha Varna. King Narsimha Deva, uh, it was constructed by King Narsimha Deva in the shape of uh, a chariot of having uh, 24 wheels carried by or drawn by seven horses. Next one, next one, Fatehpur uh, Sikri, you know, my dear friends. Who constructed the Fatehpur Sikri? Fatehpur Sikri. Fatehpur Sikri. Who constructed it? Fatehpur Sikri. Fatehpur Sikri is constructed by Emperor Akbar. Fatehpur Sikri. Fatehpur Sikri, it was constructed by Emperor Mughal Emperor Akbar. Fatehpur Sikri, in Fate, at Fatehpur Sikri, there are two gates. At Fatehpur Sikri, there are two gates. Two gates. Two entrances. There are two main entrances. One is the Sahi Darwaja and another one is Another one is, what is the name of another one? Uh, at Fatehpur Sikri, in the building of Fatehpur Sikri, there are, there are two entrances, two main gates, two main entrances. One, the name of one entrance or one gate is Sahi Darwaja. And another name, what is the name of another one? The name of another entrance is Bulwan Darwaja. Bulwan Darwaja. It was constructed by Mughal Emperor Akbar. Can you tell me the reason why was Bulwan Darwaja constructed by Emperor Akbar? It was constructed to commemorate the image of the victory over Gujarat by Mughal Emperor Akbar. After having uh, defeated the rulers of Gujarat, after having occupied the territories of Gujarat, Mughal Emperor Akbar, you know, gave a feast and to commemorate the image, to enjoy the victory over Gujarat, he celebrated one festival. And while celebrating the festival, he constructed, he constructed, he ordered his men to construct one to construct one more gate at Fatehpur Sikri and this gate is known as Bulan Darwaja. Okay, there are two main entrances. One is Sai Darwaja and another one is Bulwan Bulwan Darwaja. Then next one. The next one. Name the tallest tower. Which is the tallest tower of India? Which is the tallest tower of India? Tallest tower of India. The tallest tower's name is Kutub Minar. What is the name of the tallest tower of India? The name of the tallest tower of India is Kutub Minar. Kutub Minar. Now I can ask you who uh, built Kutub Minar? Kutub Minar was built, the building work or construction was, was started by uh, Muhammad, uh, started by the first, first, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, Sultan, the first Sultan Kutubuddin Aibak. Kutubuddin Aibak uh, decided to construct a Mina, which would be uh, considered to be uh, one of the tallest minars of India, he decided to uh, construct it in order to commemorate the image of Kutubuddin Bhaktiar Kaki. Kutubuddin Bhaktiar Kaki was a Sufi saint. He obtained high respect and gained popularity 
while staying at Delhi. So, in order to commemorate the image of Kutubuddin Bhaktiar Kaki, uh, Kutubuddin Aibak decided to construct a, 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 a construct one of the most tallest temple, uh, tallest uh, you know, minas, one of the most tallest tallest, uh, tallest towers of India, that is Kutub Minar. But unfortunately, Kutubuddin Aibak died while constructing the minar. The, the incomplete work of Kutub Minar was uh, completed by uh, Kutubuddin Aibak's, you know, uh, Kutubuddin Aibak's son-in-law. Kutubuddin Aibak's son-in-law. Who was he? Kutubuddin Aibak's son-in-law, Iltudmish. It was constructed by him. And then Kutub Minar became one of the tallest towers of India, one of the most tallest towers of India. During that period, Kutub Minar's fame and glory reached far and wide. People of different parts of the world, till today, they usually come to visit this um, tower, which is located at Delhi, center at Delhi. So these are the points of lesson number 42, 43. And now today, <coughs> I have decided to teach you another more lesson because these are all are short lessons. Now I am going to discuss, going to clarify about lesson number 44. Another more lesson. One more lesson I am going to teach you. Lesson number 44. What is the name of this lesson, my dear students? Animals in cold desert. Animals in cold desert. Animals in cold desert. Animals in cold desert. What are the animals in cold deserts found? Now I am going to discuss. And what are the names of animals generally found in the cold deserts? Now I am going to discuss. One of the animals, I am telling you the name of animal. This animal has very short legs and long ears. Long, long ears and very short legs. In summers, it is brown skinned, whereas in winters, its skin turns white. In, it is uh, in summers, it is brown skinned, brown skinned, brown skinned, but in winters, its skin turns white. What is the name of this animal? The name of this animal is Arctic fox. Arctic fox. This animal's skin uh, becomes, this animal's skin becomes brown during winter, but in summer, uh, it uh, skin turns, it, it skin, it, it, it skin, uh, color of its skin uh, is changed to white. And next one, this animal looks like a rabbit, another one. This animal looks, next one, one animal looks like a rabbit. One animal looks like a rabbit. It has big feet compared to its body. Its small ears help it to keep warm in extreme cold. What is the name of this animal? Arctic hare. Arctic hare. Arctic hare. The name of this animal is Arctic Hare. So what was my question? My question was, this animal looks like a rabbit. It has a big feet compared to its body. Its small ears help it to keep warm in extreme cold. What is the name of this animal? The name of this animal is Arctic Hare. Arctic Hare. Then next one, another question for you. <coughs> Another question for you, my dear students. Look at the blackboard and hear me, what I am telling you. Next one, it is the largest meat eater in the Arctic. Largest meat eater in the Arctic. And uh, 
uh, these animals like to eat winged and bearded seals. What is the name of this animal? This animal is the largest meat eater in the Arctic and uh, like to eat and like to eat winged and bearded seals. What is the name of this animal? The name of this animal is I am writing in the blackboard. Polar bear. The name of this animal is polar bear. Polar bear. And next one. Another one. Another one. There are most distinguished inhabitants of Antarctica. These birds cannot fly, but they swim very well. What is the name of this bird? Penguin. The name of this bird is Penguin. The name of this bird is Penguin. Penguin. This bird cannot fly, but these birds have these birds have distinguished inhabitants of Antarctica. These birds cannot fly, but they can swim very well. Next one. Next one. These birds have a host-like snowy white appearance and soft hearing which helps them find their prey that is invisible under thick vegetation or snow cover. What is the name of this animal? Snow owl. Snow owl. The name of this animal is snow owl. This animal, what do uh, these animals do? These birds, actually not animals, this is, these are the birds. These birds actually what, uh, what do these birds have a ghost like snowy white appearance and sharp hearing which helps them to find their prey that is, uh, uh, you know, invisible under thick vegetation or snow cover these birds names the name of these birds are snow owl snow owl and next one next one this animal has two very very long teeth known as tusks its skin is full of Wrinkles. What is the name of this animal? You know it very well because I have taught it. I taught it earlier. The name of this animal is walrus. The name of this animal is walrus. This animal has two very very long teeth, known as tusks. Its skin is full of uh, wrinkles. Name of this animal is walrus. Then next one. These are the birds. These are small birds but cover 22,000 miles every year during migration. These are small birds, small, small birds but cover 22,000 miles every year during migration. What is the name of this bird? The name of this bird is Arctic Tern. Arctic Tern. Arctic Tarn. Name of this bark is Arctic Tarn. They every year cover 22,000 miles. 22,000 miles. Every year they cover 22,000 miles during migration. The name of these birds are Arctic Turn. These birds are very small, very small in size. size. And next one, it is a member of the deer family. It is also known as caribou. Its diet is moss and lichen. It is popularly associated with Santa Claus. What is the name of this animal? The name of this animal is... What is the name of this animal? The name of this animal is...
reindeer. What is the name of this animal? The name of this animal is reindeer. This animal, this animal, you know, these are the these are known as member of the deer family and known as caribou. It diet its diet is mouse and kitchen lichen mouse and lichen and popularly associated with Santa Claus. The name of this animal is reindeer. Up to this, my dear students, all the points which I discussed in today's lessons, two lessons. You please learn it properly, keep it in your mind and uh, today I shall give you some homework. Please take it down, uh, the homework in your uh, homework copies and uh, prepare your homework and submit it to us, to me, in, uh, in next Wednesday. I shall send your homework through Tenno. Up to this, my dear students, thank you.